Hi everybody, Al Bernstein here with another one of my video blogs in the shadow of uh, Ray Charles and Janis Joplin up there. Uh, I didn't realize when I set the shot up that I would be uh, doing it uh, with them in the background, but uh, they're great, two of my idols, and I wish I could work them into this conversation, but I don't think I can. Uh, I want to talk about a couple of things. First, thank you to everybody who's been sending me these tweets and messages and emails about being nominated to Boxing's Hall of Fame. I really appreciate it. I'm very appreciative to be nominated, and uh, we'll just see how the rest of the process goes. But thanks for all the uh, kind words that I've received. Talk about two fights uh, right now, one that I don't want to see and one that I do want to see and I'm going to see tomorrow night. The first, I'm not interested in seeing. Vladimir Klitschko, who, as many of you know, uh, I admire as a champion and as a man. He's comported himself very, very well, so I seldom have uh, anything uh, negative to say about him. But in this instance, he is planning on fighting Jean-Marc Mormec on December 10th. Uh, Mormec, of course, was a cruiserweight champion. It had a very exciting fight with David Hay, in which he lost to Hay in a seventh-round knockout, but had Hay down in the fight. So Mormec was a very good cruiserweight champion and uh, was exciting in that division. I did a fight in which he lost a bid to O'Neill Bell for the title, subsequently won it back. But now he's been campaigning as a heavyweight. And honestly, he is much too small to really challenge Vladimir Klitschko. He's a very short fighter for a heavyweight um, and really is much better a cruiserweight, around 200 pounds. So to fight a big, tall, huge heavyweight like Vladimir Klitschko doesn't make sense. I don't know why uh, uh, Vladimir and his people made this fight. I mean, I can understand that it's a winnable fight that, that they can make, and uh, perhaps in Europe, because Mormec is, is uh, from France and he's uh, got a, a certain fan base there, that it might be interesting, but it's just not a fight that I think we want to see. And after he fought David Hay, another cruiserweight, essentially, um, even though they, he had fought several fights at heavyweight. This just doesn't seem like the appropriate fight to make at a time when Vladimir Klitschko still is in the business of legacy building. Um, but that's just my opinion. I'm not interested in that fight. I am interested in uh, the fight that will be held here uh, tomorrow night in uh, Las Vegas at the uh, Texas Station Casino and shown on Showbox on Showtime with my pals um, Kurt Menefee and uh, Steve Farhood and Antonio Tarver doing the, uh, the broadcast. Uh, it's going to be a fight in which Sharif Boguer takes on Francisco Contreras and it is a match that I think could be really, really good. Both men are undefeated. Boguer is potentially a star in the lightweight division or even above. And many people want to see whether he has the goods to be that kind of star. I think the fight will be exciting, and I'm looking forward to it. I'll be over there at Texas Station, and then I'll be DVRing it to watch uh, the fight. Uh, afterwards, I hope all of you will either come out there or, of course, uh, watch on Showtime on Showbox. But I'm looking forward to it. Sharif Bagheera, a name to remember potentially uh, as a future champion. But that fight tomorrow night is a true test for him.